Okay, here we have some more of Steve Anderson's satanic attacks against the Jewish people, the Jews according to the flesh that the Bible talks about and the covenant that God made between Abraham and his seed forever, an everlasting covenant. But see, this little faker here doesn't like that. So let's listen to some more of his blasphemy. Today I want to talk about what the Bible calls the synagogue of Satan. It's mentioned twice, once in Revelation 2 and once in Revelation 3. Let me start out in verse 9 of chapter 2. The Bible reads, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So right there we can see that this group known as the synagogue of Satan, they say that they are Jews, but they're not. Just like this guy right here. They're lying. Not only that, but he says that they are blasphemers. They blaspheme. Well, let's read Revelation 3.9 to get the other mention. The Bible reads, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. So the next thing we can learn about the synagogue of Satan is that whoever they are, they do not believe that God loved the Philadelphians, the Church of Philadelphia. They had it in their mind that God did not love them. And God said, I'm going to make them of the synagogue of Satan. And, and who are they? The ones who say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. He says, I'm going to make them come and worship before your feet and to know that I've loved thee. Now, who is the synagogue of Satan? Well, now here's where it gets obvious. Or now here's where the satanic doctrine starts to come in. It, it, it really isn't that complicated. The Bible says in Romans chapter 2, I think here is the clearest verse to help you understand who the synagogue of Satan is. The Bible says in uh, Romans 2.28, For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly. And the circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men but of God. So okay. Now... I'm going to show you what he will not show you. Romans chapter 2. Okay, go down to the end here. Now see, here he's talking about the circumcision being, you know, profiting if you're keeping the law and things that if you're, in other words, if you are doing right as a Jew. Okay? Up here he's saying, Thou art called a Jew and restest in the law and makest thy boast of God. Right, he's talking about the Jews, and he's saying that there are Gentiles down here that are actually more spiritual than you. And he's saying the spiritual nature there, that you're circumcised, you know, that you're, you know, not living after the flesh, that there are Gentiles that are doing a better job than the Jews. But he's not saying that there are no Jews according to the flesh. You say, how do you know that? Go to Romans chapter 3. What advantage then hath the Jew, or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way chiefly, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. He's talking about Jews in the Old Testament. Right? Gentiles are strangers to the commonwealth of Israel. Right here is proof that Steve Anderson lied. If, if this is spiritual Jews, why would he say what advantage then hath the Jew? That doesn't make any sense. And who, was, who were the oracles of God committed to in the Bible? They were committed to the Jewish people. All right? So Steve Anderson lied. He won't tell you. He won't keep reading. He won't read the context of those passages there. He just wants you to believe that because spiritually you are likened to a Jew, if you are a saved Gentile, he won't, he won't go on and, and go to the fact that it's to the flesh as well. Just incredible. He will not talk about these things. So right there, those who are outwardly a Jew, those who are a Jew on the outside, he says, he's not a Jew. It's the one who's a Jew inwardly. Wrong. Read Romans chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. He is talking about physical Jews. Read the context of Romans chapter 2. He's talking about physical Jews. That's why Paul told the, the Philippians, he said, we are the circumcision. Okay, let's look at that. Philippians chapter 3. Okay. 
For we are the circumcision which worship God in the Spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. Now look at this. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other, other man thinketh that he hath whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews. Huh. He's not talking about spiritual Jews, huh? Or, you know, he's talking about spiritual Jews and not physical Jews. What's this have to do with it then? Okay. <laughs> it's incredible. See, he won't, he won't tell you this stuff because he's a liar. Which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. And so what religion in this world even uses synagogues? Only one religion uses a synagogue and that is Judaism. And so when we look at those who call themselves Jews today, those who go to a synagogue, those who believe in the religion of Judaism, they say that they're Jews, but according to the Bible, they're not Jews because they do not rejoice in Christ Jesus. Uh, uh, wrong. Come on, man. The Jews come back to the nation of Israel in unbelief. That's the purpose of the time of Jacob's trouble. They are not a Jew inwardly. They are outwardly a Jew. But God said he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. No, that's not true. He's talking about spiritual things. It's just incredible. Was, okay, is, uh, was Paul not a Jew? He was one outwardly. He's talking about it there. It's incredible. And there are many other scriptures we could turn to that would drive in that exact same point. But let me say this. Do the Jews think that God loves them more than he loves other groups like, say, the Philadelphians? Absolutely. They believe that just by, by virtue of the fact that they descend from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that somehow God loves them more, that somehow they are the special chosen ones, that that makes them the elect. No, you're only... They are. They are. One more time. Steve Anderson does not like this chapter, I'll guarantee you. He can't preach it. Okay? Here we have. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall come out of Zion the, the deliverer, and shall, shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. When's this going to happen? The time of Jacob's trouble. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. Yes, they are a chosen people. And there's so much more I get into, but I'm trying to keep these videos short. The elect if you're in Christ, as I covered in the last video. Wrong. And so the synagogue of Satan is none other but the Jews, who are claiming to be God's people. And they are God's people. And, and, and how many times do we see it in the Bible where John the Baptist said, Think not to say within yourselves we have Abraham to our father. For I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. He's talking about spiritual. Okay? That's what he's referring to there. He uses verses to talk about where the Jews are being rebuked spiritually. And he tries to say that they're not Jews according to the flesh. This guy's a heretic. Abraham. And even Jesus Christ looked at the Jews who said, Abraham's our father. He said, Abraham's not your father. You're of your father, the devil. And so... Uh, spiritually, yes, but not physically. We see very clearly who the synagogue of Satan is. You yes, say we do. It's right here. It's you. You are the synagogue of Satan for saying that you are a Jew and somehow that the Jews after the flesh are not, you know, God's chosen people. This is replacement theology. This is what the Catholic Church believes and teaches. This is satanic. Okay? Oh, and I'm going to show you one other thing here quick. Why do you bring this up in a, in a post-trib moment? Because the pre-tribulation rapture doctrine relies very heavily on the fact that the Jews are God's chosen people. Yeah, it does, because it's the truth. Well, the Bible says that the so-called Jews of our day are not even Jews if they don't believe in Christ. Eh, <laughs> Okay, really? They're not even Jews if they don't believe in Christ. I just shared this one in the last video, but in case you haven't seen it. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. 
Okay, look up here. He's talking about the seed of David. Who is this? The elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. He's talking about lost Jews, and he calls them elect. Jews according to the flesh, you know. This is one of the main themes of the Bible, and this little liar here can't even discern that. It doesn't matter if they're one outwardly. They're not one inwardly. He said they're the synagogue of Satan. That Jew You are the synagogue of Satan, you little liar. Who is synagogue in your town? The Bible says it's a synagogue of Satan. The Bible says who is a liar, but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ, he is antichrist, which denieth the Father and the Son. You say, oh, Pastor Anderson, you're a racist, you're anti-Semitic. No, I'm teaching that, that all races are equal here. That is not racism. Uh, all races are equal? Not in terms of God's covenant with them. This is new age. This is nonsense here. This is denying scripture. Those who are Zionists, those who believe in Judaism, and those who believe in this thing that the Jews are God's chosen people today, they are the racist because they are saying that the Jews are better than the Gentiles. I no, we're, saying, we're not saying that the Jews are better than the Gentiles. We're just simply saying that God has a covenant with Abraham and his descendants, the seed of Abraham. I don't believe that for one second. I don't believe the Jews are worse than the Gentiles. I believe that the... Yes, you do. You liar. You just call them the synagogue of Satan. Religion is wicked and of Satan. But the people themselves, if they believe on Jesus Christ, are just as saved as I am. They're just as good as I am. So it's not a racial thing. It's a religious thing. I'm against the religion of Judaism. It's an uh -huh. antichrist religion. And frankly, it's the synagogue of Satan. No. You are the synagogue of Satan.